Alrighty, welcome back to Big Time Pools. This is Austin, and today we got another collector booster box. So far, we've been doing decent with these. Um, I'm hoping the schematics and the retro foil or the retro frames kind of go up in price. Um, really looking for a serial card or a. Uh, sorry, I'm struggling with this right now. Or a shattered glass foil. Okay, those are the. The big pulls in these, and if you go back and look at the previous three videos, uh, you'll see that that first box that we pulled was a pretty good one. Uh, after that, we've been we've been struggling. Okay, so here we go, 12 packs. Looking for some big time pulls. All right, we're gonna jump straight into this. Let me know in the comments how you guys have been liking this set. Um, Arts look awesome, concept, the plane, awesome. But I have been struggling to get any anything big in this set. So here we go, commons, uncommons. We got our land, and there's a full rare Kayla's Command. And then we got Hall of Tagson. And Terra Ballista, both borderless rares. Our first rare uh, retro is a Ornithopter. And we have the Chromatic Star um, Schematic. Helm of the Host, that's a good one. Not foil, but we'll take it. Jetfire, Ingenious Scientist. And then we have the Schematic Quietist Spike. And then our Construct token. So pack number two. That one wasn't a bad, bad start. Schematic foil and helm of the host. We'll take it. All right. So got our commons. We got keeper the cadence and shoot chai cave guard as our uncommons. Mountain mechanized warfare. And here we go. Borderless awaken the woods. It's about an $18 card right here. So we're gonna put this one right over here. Straight to another mythic. Thanos, the sole survivor. Borderless mythic. And then we got a foil schematic self-assembler. We have a schematic chromatic star. And there's another big time pool, baby. Platinum Angel with the, with the retro Retro frame. So, so far we've got two good retro frames. Home of the Host and Platinum Angel. And we got another Jet Fire. And this time we have Underground River. Borderless Foil Rare. All right, pack number three. That was a good pack. So far we've gotten two pretty decent packs in a row. Still looking for that serial number card. Looking for the 420 Worm Coil Engine. So we got our commons, uncommons, mountain, and we got a foil portal to Phyrexia. This card has went up in price a lot. So that is a big time pool. That's probably a $30 card. Uh, with foil, it could be even higher than that. $22 card if it's not foil. And we're looking at Probably about a $23 card if it is foil. So I, I do expect that to go up in price though. So we're gonna keep that right here. We have the Hall of Targson and Scholar of New Horizons. Those are both of our uh, borderless rares. Pristine Talisman foil. And that's a schematic. Burnished Heart, Semblance Anvil, and Starscream Power Hungry. And then we have a boil, or boil, <laughs> foil, borderless, mythic, one with the multiverse. That is a sweet foil. Whew, it's an expensive card though. Two blue and six mana. All right, here we go, pack number four. Depth Charter, oh, well, Commons. 
We have our uncommon, the Urza Power Stone Prodigy. Another uncommon, then we got planes. We have a rare foil, Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia. Trizen Mindbreaker and Urza War uh, Workshop. And we have a schematic Elsewhere Flask Foil. We have a Chromatic Star. Lodestone Golem. And then we have a Shattered Glass Gold Bug Humanities Allies. About a $5 card. And then the last one is Gix's Command. Borderless Foil Rare. All right, pack number five. Here we go. Commons. Then we got our Uncommons. Island. Pretty sweet. Sweet art. And we got Siege Veteran. That's our... Foil Rare. We have a Mythic Skitterbeam Battalion. That looks awesome. Whew. We got Root Path Purifier. Lands you control and lands. Land cards in your library are basic. I would say that could be a pretty good card right there. So I was hearing some people talk about this card. Basically it turns all your lands into basic lands so whenever you have a card like evolving wilds that says crack this go find a basic land you can get any land um any land in your in your deck at that point so pretty good card put that right here that's a borderless mythic we got ivory tower foundry inspector key to the city schematic Oh man, I saw the foil. I got I got hyped for it. We got Blaster Combat DJ foil. And then we have Serenith Great Worm Borderless Foil Mythic. Alright, this is gonna be pack number six. After this one, we're about halfway through. We're not about halfway through, we will be. But this is that card that I was just talking about, Evolving Wilds. You see how it says, search your library for a basic land card. So basically, for that card that we were talking about earlier, you'd be able to get any any land card out of your uh, library. So here we go. Uncommons, Swamp, Fade from History, Foil Rare. Then we go into the Borderless, the Temporal Anchor Rare, and Geology Enthusiast Rare. We have the Foil Icker Wellsprings, or Wellspring. Burnish Heart Schematic, Maze Mind Tome, and we have the Ultra Magnus Tactician. And then a Borderless Foil Rare, the Death or Death Bloom Ritualist. All right, so that's halfway through the box. We got six more packs. Hoping for a serial number card. All right, here we go. Commons. Uncommons. Planes. So we got Fauna Shaman. It's a good, a good rare. We got two borderless rares right here, Hexavis and Painful Quandary. Elsewhere Flask Foil, Pristine Talisman, Mesmeric Orb Schematic, and then Ratchet Field Medic. Right here, and then we have a Foil Perilous Vault. The Retro Frame. We got five more left. Five more packs left. So by the way, in these last four videos, these boxes were actually provided by um, Black Lotus Coffee. And you can find them on TCG and you can buy from their 
in their store. I know they're going to have discount prices because they're trying to get going. I personally know the two guys, and they're great. They'll get you the merchandise, ship it off to you, good price. So if I were young, y'all were looking for some cards, I'd look into it. So here we go, foil rare over the top. We have Land of War Waste. Oops. Land of War Waste, borderless rare. Smelting Vat, borderless rare. Liquid Metal Coating. Look at that. That is a weird, weird art. That's foil. We have Mishra's Bobble. A Gilded Lotus Schematic. It's hard to get on the field, but obviously you can see three man of any one color that can change the tide of the game. We got Prowl, Stoic Strategist, and then Precursor Golem Foil. And then we got our token. Five more packs. All right, here we go. We got Commons. Arms Race is your first time coming with a gruesome realization. Mountain Awaken the Woods. So we pulled one of these borderless earlier. And now we got a foil Awaken the Woods. That's a good pull. <clears throat> That's a pretty sweet art. I know that we've just already kind of seen the art of it, but it's about a sixteen to seventeen dollar card in foil. It's a mythic too. Nice. Thanos, the Toy Maker, Borderless Rare, and Blast Furnace Hellkite, Borderless Rare. Into the Bone Saw. Schematic. Oh, I messed one of these up. Where did I put my schematics? Okay, I accidentally put some of these in the wrong pile. Sorry about that. So, schematic right here. Liquid metal coating, unwinding clock schematic. That's a pretty good, uh, that'll probably be worth uh, 10 bucks if I had to guess. That's a pretty good card too though. Untapping your artifacts each opponent's turn. That's just looked it up, it's a $4 card. And then we got Optimus Prime Hero. That's about a $5 card. Oh, this is schematic, sorry. Keep on putting those in the wrong pile. And then we got a borderless foil rare Gixian Puppeteer. Three more packs. Alright, we got commons. Uncommons. A forest. Tokasia Dig Site Mentor, Foil Rare. Arcane Proxy is about a $10 card. Borderless Mythic. Borderless Rare, Sardian Avenger. Jalum Tome, Foil. Then we have a Sigil of Vigor, Schematic. Scrap Trawler. Cyclonus the Saboteur. And Maze Mind Tome, Foil. All right, two more packs. Hoping for a big time pull right here. Hoping for that serial number card. We got commons. Demolition field. And Lauren and Disciple of History are two uncommons. And we got Mountain. Hercules Final Meditation. Full rare. Death Bloom Ritualist and Wire Surgeons are our uh, borderless rares. We got Spring Leaf Drum Foil. Then we just have a regular sp Spring Leaf Drum. And then we have a Schematic Caged Sun. Schematic Caged Sun. I believe that this one's a little bit, uh, it's about a $2 card, so. Then we have a Shattered Glass Starscream Power Hungry. Starscream Power Hungry. It's about a six to seven dollar card. Looks pretty sweet too. And then Fauna Shaman 
more of this foil rare. Last pack right here. We're really looking for a serial number or a shattered glass foil. So here we go. Let's see what we got. So I'd say overall, this has been one of the better uh, collector booster boxes that we've opened from this set so far. So we got two uncommons. We got Swamp. Foil Hall of Tagson. That's a rare. Hostile Negotiation. Borderless Rare, Geology, enthusi Enthusiast, Borderless Rare, Schematic, Foil, Acre Wellsprings, Schematic for Ornthopter, we have the Goblin, Char Belcher, and then a Foil, Goldbug, Humanities Ally, and let's see what do we got right here for this last one, a Gilded Lotus, Schematic Foil Gilded Lotus. So, no serial number, but we do have the question of the day for y'all. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite style of play in Magic? So, my favorite style of play is to either go wide or go big with uh, either one creature, or if I'm going wide with multiple creatures, I'm a very aggressive player. Like, I just want to get a bunch of creatures on battlefield and attack so let me know in the comments below what your favorite style of play is y'all have a good week